just thinking about conversation and social media and broadcast media and this is partly um, coming out of a set of conversations that I've had but also videos that I've looked at I was looking at one of um, the amazing atheists videos this morning and it's the one where he's talking about the not productive side that he's trying to get going at the moment particularly a response to uh, what's he called straight dopes video crit uh, criticizing that project uh, and one of the things that uh, the Amazing Atheist said in that video is that it's not getting audiences. He's, he's done this kind of thing before, he's built a site before, and it didn't get audiences. You know, people would go there, put videos on there, and then basically walk away. And, uh, I mean, that's a fascinating thing, that, isn't it? Because on the one hand, why should that matter? You know, if, if, it, if this is social media, something like the telephone... Oh, I'm just going to show you this bike I've just noticed. Can you see that bike? Look at that. How oh, weird. Anyhow, uh, if this is uh, kind of social media, then why would we care about audiences? Why would we care about viewing figures? It's, we should, aren't we? Shouldn't be much more concerned about the two or three or twenty or thirty people that we're actually in conversation with, um, because you know that's uh, viewing figures are irrelevant, and things like rating figures are relevant in that model, aren't they? But uh, but if it's a broadcast medium, then that's that's all important. You know, broadcast is all about it's a, essentially a one-way communication, a one-to-many communication model, and capturing eyeballs is what it's all about. But it seems to me that this media that we're in right now, you know, whether it be uh, YouTube or any other kind of media, it's not it's neither one nor other, is it really? It's somewhere between social media and broadcast media. It's public conversation. That's the term I'm kind of thinking of it. You know, when conversation becomes public, it changes. It becomes um, performative. It becomes um, in the public domain. It becomes subject to criticism and evaluation and measurement and uh, incursions from outside. I think I've come the wrong way, actually. Oh, never mind. Um, you know, it starts to do different things. I suppose that's all I'm saying really, I'm going to repeat myself if I carry on, so I'll probably just stop there. But anyway, yeah, just this, I'm going to have to think some more about it, but social media and broadcast media, they're not polar opposites. If, you know, if, 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 or at least the way I'm thinking about social media, it's not the polar opposite to broadcast media. Telephone or a whispered conversation is the opposite to broadcast media. Public conversations, the conversations happening in social media, are partly participatory but partly also voyeuristic I think.